Why is my why is my menu open? Oh, whatever. Hello, everyone. Billy12510, back with more Let's Play po uh, Fire Red Pokemon. Yes, yeah, so we're not playing Pokemon Fire Red anymore. It's just Fire Red Pokemon. All of them um, got sunburned. And now we are on the quest for Alavera. Speaking of Pokemon, I need to heal Kenny. Yay, you're all better now. I can go four on your killing spree again. Yay! Um, route five. There is a new Pokemon in this route, actually. I was wondering. And indeed, there is. The Pokemon in question is a Meow. It's a normal type. It's highly overrated. I don't like it. It's got really good speed, but not much else. Although, if you're a fan of the anime, you will know how good Meowth is as a character. But as a Pokemon, it's just not too spectacular. You can use it, sure, but cheap damage or whatever you want to do. Because it's incredibly fast. One of the fastest in this game. But I have a better normal type in mind for my device. And I don't know why I decided to uh, put on a horrible Christopher Walken impersonation, but it worked, so... I might just do that for all Pokemon bios now. Because that somehow worked, and why am I walking? I should be running. There are hidden items along this underground path, but unless you have the item finder, you're not going to find any of them. Unless you just check literally every square. Oh, wait a bit. Because <coughs> the item finder is an item you can get. Now, uh, but you need to have data of 40 Pokemon. And I have data of 2. Um, I think around here is like a hidden rare candy. How many of those do I have? I have 3 rare candies. What is this? How do I have free rare candy? The citrus berry, that's nice. That's like a free 30 HP right there. And then it got nerfed in uh, the fourth gen game, where it just became like a quarter HP. I don't think there are any new Pokemon in round six. Do -do -do. Um, and I think there's only one required fight on this route. And believe it or not, and trust me, I find it hard to believe myself, but we are going to get a new Pokemon on this one. And not on this route. In this episode. Just gotta get past this guy. You wanna talk to me? I honestly don't. But since you walked up, I guess we can have this conversation over a Pokemon battle. Oh, you aren't saying anything. Huh. Okay. Water gun. Me thinks I should have actually learned rapid spin right now. I know I said rapid spin sucks, but I could actually use it right about now. I need something that won't one-shot everything. Oh, and Raticate. That's illegal. That's like not that's not even legal, man. What you doing? What are you doing? Fight. Eradicate you're dead. Uh oh my god, can he stop leveling up so much? This is This is ludicrous right here. <laughs> not I should not have a level 28 Pokemon right now. This is not how the game is meant to be played. I'm technically stronger than the gym leader. Vermilion City! Game here because this is where the SSN is supposed to be. Uh, here. It's Fishing Guru. Tell him you like to fish. You get a shitty rod. 
All it catches are Magikarps. Magikarp, like I said, is good until it evolves and then it becomes amazing. Actually, no, I lied. There's one thing you can catch with Old Rod besides Magikarps, clearly, but you can. Tentacool, which is pretty common if you're surfing, actually. But despite it being so common, it's actually really good. Surprisingly so. It's a great special wall and has decent special attack as well. So, and it's water poison too. So, having an immunity to being poisoned is a blessing, and it's a great special wall. You'd be it's also really fast too. You'd be surprised how good it is despite it being so common. Anyway, do you have a Spearow? Want to trade it for my Farfetch? I unfortunately do not have a Spearow. Farfetched? Ah, uh, oh boy. Farfetched. It's one of the worst Pokemon in the entire game. It's a really bad base stat totals. And it's not even unique typing. It's normal fly. It doesn't evolve. It's got more move pool. It's not good. It's really, really not good. Uh, it would st you would be wise to stay away from the Farfetch. Unfortunately, I don't believe that this player is very wise. Indeed, I'm not very wise. Uh, there's a spear on this route here. Run. Ah, uh, I don't fit. I don't think I'm gonna be able to catch the. I don't think I'm gonna be able to catch anything. Cause Kenny's too top tier right now. Ah! Saying nothing, so I wouldn't jinx it. But uh, if you haven't noticed by now. I am going to try and catch the Spearow and trade it for that Farfetch, and that Farfetch is going to be the second member of my team. I don't care. I know how bad it is. Yeah, baby! We got it! But to be completely honest, I could really care less how bad it is. I'm using it, baby. It visibly flits around here and there. Even if it is frail, it can be a tough boat. It uses mirror move. Anyway, even though the trick, it is. Ah, oh, you. Oh, are you serious, man? Don't cheat. I will. I'm not gonna cheat. I'm just gonna use a little Pokemon that's like 50 levels higher than yours. I think that is level 21. I'm actually quite surprised. I'm still higher level than you. I'm still gonna destroy you. No more gently, gentleman composure. I'm just gonna wipe everything off the face of the earth. Ah, oh, that sucks. Glare causes paralysis. Uh, that's annoying. I also believe that Ekans had uh, intimidated as well. Ah, oh, well, GG. Luckily, I can't paralyze that poison. But Kenny, can you please move? Get you your wheelchair later, just kill the freaking snake. Ugh. It's not right. It's totally right. It's more than what you deserve. Well, not even what you deserve. You deserve to die to Farfetch. Um, speaking of Farfetch, I'm getting it, baby. Team member number two. Let's do this. Another reason to do this is it fills up your Pokédex because you can't catch Farfetch's in the wild in this game. Uh. It's believe it or not, this is not the first time I have done this. It's actually worked surprisingly. Ching! We got Ching! It's arrived. Thank you. No, thank you. I'm gonna show all the haters what's up. A cool thing about this Farfetch, it comes with a stick. 
awkward silence. Um, that stick will boost Farfetch's critical hit rate. So you keep that stick on Farfetch forever, and you have an automatic, like, what is it, 10% crit rate or something like that? I don't know. Um, yeah. There is Farfetch in all of its glory. Let's go! This is gonna suck. <laughs> uh, but now, now I don't have to use Kenny all the time. I can't believe I forgot to stop you. Urge the battle of someone you've tangled with before. Have you ever had that urge? I'm sure you have. I wanted to battle certain people over and over and over again too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'd be giving these away. Get the VS Seeker. Use that device and you'll find trainers who want a rematch. But you have to charge its battery by walking. I think it's like 50 steps or so. Or maybe it's 100, I'm not sure. 50 or 100, some denomination of 50. Um. So Farfetch is up front, right? Yeah! I believe it's time to go fight a few trainers. I've uh, skipped on this route. This is, this is the greatest idea I've ever had, by the way. <laughs> well, it's not the greatest idea I've ever had. I've already had this idea. I, I just never recorded it. Uh, this is gonna end well. The reason why I waited until after the Misty fight to get a uh, far fetch. Oh. Well, I don't think this Butterfree has any attacking moves, if that's any consolation. So I'm just gonna sit here and wait for him to wake up. Yeah, all I can do is use Super Sonic and make us attack ourselves. The reason why I waited for uh, after the Misty fight because traded Pokemon come at whatever level the Pokemon. How to word this before I mess my before I mess up. Uh, the Pokemon uh, for in-game trades. I've got to say this right, damn it. For in-game trades, the level of the Pokemon you're trading to the NPC is going to be the level that the NPC's Pokemon is going to be when they trade their Pokemon to you. So the Spearow I caught was level 13, and that's why Chiding is level 13. Yeah, um... Well, now I can't be put to sleep again. That's some consolation, right? Farfetch is a terrible Pokemon, but I'll use it. I'll use it. You can't stop me now. It's already happened. Already confused. You're still confused. Oh. You can't confuse someone who's already confused. Well, that's the thing is confused. You're oh, you're still alive. I thought you were dead. Son of a... Now this is getting annoying. Just because Butterfree exists. Okay, you're dead. Thank God. So, cool thing about trading Pokemon? They gain Pokemon... A, they get Traded Pokemon gain Pokemon, no. Traded Pokemon gain experience at a 1.5 times normal rate. So already Chiding's almost at level 15. So training him up, not gonna be a problem. Uh, dealing with all of his status conditions right now, also not gonna be a problem. I just got that feature berry too. No, I got that in the last part. Well. So I love how like 15 minutes has gone by and the only thing I've done is proven my stupidity and getting is doing the Farfetch trade and committing myself to using the Farfetch. There aren't many bugs out here, he says. Huh. 
Maybe you should try, I don't know, a forest to find bugs. And how come this isn't evolved? Game Freak, why you do this? I, I, I still have every right to question there. It's like, you know, Beedrill exists. Nah, just make a level 16 Weedle. Program that into the game instead. There's no reason to do that. Not in this game, then, right? I think it might learn Bug Bite in 15, level 15. That doesn't come until the next generation. Look at this nerd spraying out his Pokemon knowledge like he thinks it's cool or some shit like that. Man, you go play ball, dude. This guy. And, oh, come on! Uh, I hate bugs. I hate bugs. Uh, hey, look at this Caterpie. Uh, I just bought a level 20 Butterbree and now you're just throwing Caterpies at me. Like, this game has no sense of balance. And it's dead. Oh god, what the heck? I think that's gonna... That's just gonna cut it here. I'm just done. Because disturbances are happening, I'm gonna go check them out. I mean, I don't wanna have to edit things. So next time I let's play Pokemon Fire Red, we're going to go back to Vermilion City and continue to prove my stupidity using Farfetch. See you all then. And I welcome all the haters. Bye.